had some incredible highlights already in my poker career, and I think I'm still, you know, I feel like I'm still fairly new to the game. I had two deep caches in the World Series main event back-to-back -back years, and that was incredible. Um, coming second at the Irish Open, obviously a massive thing for me. I talk about poker, I play poker, I watch poker, I, <laughs> I think about poker, I dream about poker, it's pretty much all I do. I love aces. And I know that's a silly thing to say because everyone's going to say that, but it's true. It's awesome. Aces are great. If I had to pick a hand that wasn't aces, I'd say pocket fives. Um, the first year I played the main event at the World Series, I had pocket fives and I flopped a set against a, a pro at the table who flopped a flush draw. We got it all in. I ended up with a big stack and I went on to make day five of the main event. And ever since then, fives have been good to me. I think I play all the bad hands pretty much the same, and sometimes very badly. I think I love that poker rewards hard work, but it also punishes you. You can do everything right and still lose. You can, in the short term, make the right decision and have it turn out wrong. And that can be so painful, but if you put the work in, poker will reward you. When I was asked to join Team Party, I was blown away. It means a lot to me, I think, to stand beside players. You know, like Mike Sexton, who is a legend in poker, and a man that I respect immensely, not just for his contributions to, to the game in particular, but also what he's done in terms of television for this game is incredible. Um, also, I've got friends on the team, so that's wonderful. I know Ian Fraser, and I know Felipe Ramos very well, and to be able to stand with them while I'm at events and wear the same patch and you know be able to talk about hands afterwards and have people to kind of you know as a support group really at a, at a tournament that's awesome and to be on a team like this I couldn't be happier <laughs>